This is Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. He has come to Toussaint on my personal invitation. Which is to say... Which is to say I expect you to treat him with the utmost respect. Of... of course, Your Grace. Did you hear that, witcher? Fabricio will be delighted to answer your every question. Want to talk about San Real? I am at your service. Okay. We'll start with the big one. Some of this wine might have been stolen. Just a suspicion we have, but... Any burglaries lately? Burglaries? Not to my knowledge. And a few days past, I took stock of the inventory. Uh, all was accounted for. The barrels lie safely in the cellar, I assure you. Who hauls the barrels to the palace? We've our own garrison. Guards who have served here for years and would answer with their heads for the wine. We'll not get anywhere asking questions, I see. It's a waste of time. Your Grace? How am I to understand this? Master Fabricio, we have proof someone's gained access to Sonreal. Someone who should not have, which means one of two things. Either you lie to our face, or you are an idiot who has had wine stolen from under his nose and not even realized it. In either case, you shall answer for it. But, but... Silence! And listen. I shall inspect the barrels in person, thus giving you time to reflect. When I return, I expect to hear answers. Remind me, Damn. where is this Sonreal stored? In... in the main cellar, around the corner. I'll show you. I shall find it. Give me the key to the cellar and wait here. Oh, of course, Your Grace. Here it is. Come, Witcher. Damn! Ooh, we now that is a fiery-haired lass. Holy crap! What if Fabricio's blackmailing the vampire? Considered that? He has his flaws, but I would never suspect him of such a thing. He's been very loyal. He owes all he has to me. His father frittered away the family fortune. He left his son an encyclopedic knowledge of wine. That is all. Fabricio lived as a beggar until I appointed him steward of Castel Ravello. Only then did he come into his own. Oh, I hate I hate any game that makes you walk slow next to someone. Still, man, you do not want to get on this woman's backside. Holy crap. Of course, sticking it down at the bottom of a cave is a damn good way so to where do we start. Let us see if all the barrels are present. Here's the inventory ledger. Oh, there we go. Mm, Vintner's log. Fermentation completed with no complications. Tapped above sediment line. Here it is, barreling. Hmm. Everything lines up at first glance. Neatly and thoroughly documented. Then we must follow our other lead. Benoit said the stain came from the 1269 vintage. Let's find it. Mm. Oh yeah, hold on a second. We need to do a little bit of looting real quick. Oh, oh, what's this? Uh -huh. Est, est. Think everyone and their mothers heard of this wine. Among the best in the world. Castel Ravello is famous for it. I have a feeling we'll find something awry. Fiorano. Dandelion's favorite. Adores it. Ah, yes. That sophisticated palette of his. Got Pamino over here. I bet you anything, it is gonna be upstairs. It won't be this first one that I just ran by. 
careful, Luce. I like it quite dry. An excellent wine. You've good taste. Okay, so how do we get up? There we go. I just, oh, jeez, find the front the stairs is just dim enough to be hard to tell what is what. Huh? Sorry, Al. 1270 vintage. That's the wrong year. Keep looking. Oh, damn it. Barrels are dated 1268. Close, but not quite the right year. Jeez. Oh. I'd say something. She'd probably strip my face off. So. What now? Let's see if any barrels are empty. Wanna open them? For now, a knock will suffice. If you hear a hollow thud, we will have found what we seek. Full. Full? Full. This one's full, too. Full. Oh, here we go. I bet you this is it. If you look, it looks like the chicken is sideways. All the others are flat. This one's full, too. Looks like all the barrels are full. Dead end, I'm afraid. Full they are. The question is, are they full of San Rial? Grab a tap and a hammer. We shall open them one by one and taste. Ready. We can start. Ready. Step aside. Hit it, girl. So? Mm, slightly smoky, strongly tannic, definitely son real. Didn't that ruin the wine though? I don't know, I don't drink wine, but I would think. Revolting, bitter, plonk. Could have gone sour while aging. Impossible. This is not wine. This is contaminated refuse that should never have made it into a barrel. The fact that it did was no accident, I'm sure. Master Fabricio, let's see what he has to say about it. Ooh, she is pissed. Master Fabricio, I am very disappointed. But your grace, I... You are a step away from losing your head. Speak the truth and you might yet keep it. I... I, I admit it. I, I... I sold a barrel of Sorreal. I beg you to forgive me. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist. The sum they offered, it was enormous. 
I gave in. Is what I provide not enough? I wished to buy back my family's estate. For here, nothing is truly mine. I've a roof over my head, ample food to eat, but what is a nobleman without land of his own? I shall tell you everything if you agree to show me mercy. <sighs> For the time and the period, you know, I understand, but we'll just move past it. Who do you sell the wine to? A few weeks past at the pheasantry, a rich nobleman approached me. He, he called himself a diplomat, well-connected at court. He suggested we embark on an enterprise. Some of his clients had offered dizzying sums for even a drop of Sonreal. He was to serve as intermediary. This man's name? He never revealed it. He was tall, black-haired, and spoke with a foreign lilt. He claimed to hail from Sintra. I have no Sintrin aristocrat at court. Wine itself. How do you hand it over? We met under the cover of darkness in the ruins of Fort Astre. A dozen or so men came to collect. Armed men. The kind that stink of trouble. I had hauled the barrel there. They transferred it to their cart. And we went our separate ways. That's it? That the last you ever saw of them? They... That is to say, a, a few days passed. A, a messenger arrived. He said they wished to buy another barrel and... There we well, go. I've prepared it. Have it ready to deliver. All right, now we'll rip his head off. Really thought nobody'd find out. I was a fool. Very foolish. I beg you, Your Grace, you must forgive me. Aw, Witcher, you could have done better. That's enough. Know all we need to know. Your Grace, I beg your forgiveness. Get out of my sight. Captain, have your men take Master Fabrizio to the dungeon. He must answer for his crime. High Ooh, treason shit. the charge. What now, Witcher? We set a trap. Need to catch the wine thieves. Sentry and Noble could be our blackmailer. Next, transport. I'll take it to Fort Astra. Damien and his soldiers will cover me. For once, I agree with you. We will do as you say. Let me know when you are ready. Need a minute. Make haste. We await only you. Alrighty, folks, before the episode gets too damn long, we there we go. Far without your grace. So please Important like, favorite, and subscribe. As always, I am the Rev. Hopefully, I don't know, with the editing, this may be two episodes, maybe one. If it's two, I apologize. Because, you know, trying to throw these intros in the middle doesn't work. Because y'all don't see what I edit out. Yada, yada, yada. Anyways, please keep your heads down. Your sword's up. In Geralt and I, I'll see you again. By the way, that's the sword that we got off the tomb a couple episodes back. Oh, it's cold again. And I'll see you again real damn soon.